Hey guys, Cam here from 9to5google.com and you may remember last week I got sent the Acer Chrome based Touch. It's an all-in-one desktop running Chrome OS but it has a touch screen. Now I've already unboxed it and give you a quick first look already but I wanted to show you what the touch screen was like to use with Chrome OS and sort of give you a feel of whether or not it's worthwhile having on the computer. Now Chrome OS obviously is a desktop software that hasn't really been designed for touch input. It doesn't have really big icons everywhere and obvious places where you should use touch. But what I found is it's not really a replacement for the physical input from a mouse and a keyboard, but rather it's a complementary feature. It's not necessary, but it's nice and does have its uses. Now in most cases, the touch input can do what a mouse does. So simply tapping on an icon or on the screen will have the same effect as left clicking on the mouse. Of course, you can press and hold to drag images or other objects on the desktop and you can also press and hold and then let go and it launches the secondary menu that's normally launched by the right click on the mouse. It also has multi-touch input so you can do things like pinch to zoom on a map. Now what's really cool is the 10 point multi-touch can actually process different apps doing different things at the same time. So for instance you could be zooming in and out of an image on one window and scrolling up and down the list on another. Or you could have two maps open on two different windows and zoom in and out of them both simultaneously. So technically you could have more than one person working on this desktop at once. One doing one thing, one doing the other thing, and it knows that you're doing different things with each hand. Now there are times, because it's a desktop software, where using a mouse is definitely easier than using touchscreen, where icons are a little bit smaller and more fiddly. And I did find that it was a little lacking in responsiveness. It wasn't terrible, but there was a little stutter and sluggishness about it at times. But then I don't really think that's about the touchscreen. That's more about the processor inside the Chrome base. It's an ARM Tegra processor, something you would normally find inside a tablet or a smartphone. So all in all, like I've already said, it's not an essential and necessary feature, but it is a nice complimentary one. But now you have to decide whether you think it's worth an extra hundred dollars because the base model of the Chrome base is $329 without a touchscreen, or you can pay $429 and get this model with the touchscreen. Now you can think of specific use cases where this touchscreen would come in very useful, then of course, this $100 may be the best $100 you've ever spent. But for most people, I don't see it being much more than something that you might use every now and then, in which case, it might not be useful at all. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on Twitter. You can find me on there, follow me, tweet me, ask me questions, give me any suggestions, and of course, use those comments down below. And if you like our videos, we do appreciate a thumbs up, and if you hit that subscribe button, that would be awesome too. I will see you again soon.